have a have a lot of people that are that are regular regular customers that keep keep coming back year after year. Of course, we've been doing it for 40 years, so they say here's somebody's coming to Oceana County. They, they'll bring me back some asparagus. Bring me back some asparagus. Asparagus is a gourmet vegetable. That's what makes it so special. It is so versatile and it's such an attractive dish to, to serve on your table. And when you do it, you can feel you have a, a gourmet dish. It makes a very attractive and collection. Just kind of pulls it from the field all the way around into my house and shows it's a part of my life. <laughs> Now, most farmers around the country would consider this pretty poor ground. I mean, if you're growing corn or soybeans or something like this, you're not going to get great crop on there. But for something like asparagus, man, this is just perfect. Asparagus is paying for everything. It's running the farm. Just now, I'll be tied down. Asparagus is, it's really a different crop. Well, I have some questions for you. Okay. I'd like to know why you want to be Mrs. Asparagus. <laughs> I guess I feel that I can represent the asparagus field. But I mean, it's just kind of, I don't I don't know, because it's not really like broccoli. And I think I'd enjoy meeting all the people, because I'm a people person. I like to be out among people. The first disco number was to tell the story of the harvest. First, the growing of asparagus, and then the picking of the asparagus. I got into the farming business. We started back in 1956 when we started migrating from Texas to Michigan with my parents. There was nine in the family. And then in 1960, my dad decided to stay in Michigan instead of going back and forth and being brought up like the cattle, decided to stay. We bought a little farm of four acres. This is our pickled asparagus. We got our grandson in the picture. He just turned two last week. He's a vice president of the company, and whatever sales we get, he gets 10% of the sales. So someday he will be able to go to college and not be a farmer. It's it, it just mind-boggling to think that we can't compete you know when you're when you own the land and have been in business for 30 years and somebody comes along and, and muscles you out it's a difficult thing to deal with i went with three people from washington the industry sent me to uh chile and then into peru to see what was going on in the asparagus industry it was a very interesting trip uh, they don't seem to have any labor problems. They could pick and choose, and they were paying their labor like $2 a day. I mean, that's what's really put the pressure on this asparagus industry is the imports from offshore coming into this country, and that's, that's what I have to deal against. And we had our congressman go to bat for us tooth and nail. I mean, it was never, uh, it was never on the radar screen. And we were told point blank, bingo, you're not going to do it because it's politically incorrect, because it involves the drug policy and supposedly have these poor farmers down there grow crops so that they won't grow cocaine. You know, and I'm sure that people just flooded out of the mountains to go grow asparagus. I don't think that happened. I think the cocaine growers are still, or the cocoa growers are still up in the mountains growing their cocoa. And when you plead your case, that we've got the State Department and all these departments, and they will just tell you, we can't help you because the president wants free trade. Changes, the challenges of change. How do we win this thing? Our plans are to go ahead and end the business. 
but you know, I could be out of the business in a month's time. What can we do to make sure that there's an asparagus industry for us to pass on to the next generation? Somebody's got to take a look at this thing sooner or later and say, you know, we screwed up, and not me, our government screwed up. They says, small farmers are a thing of the past. Well, I'm going to prove to them banks that they're not going to go to West Side because we plan to succeed at this. Did you ever know that asparagus grows in Oceana County in Michigan? I said Oceana County in Michigan.